Hey everybody, Daniel Eskridge here. Um, with my form of art, which is uh, 3D rendering, um, I often get the question of how does one get started? Uh, it sounds like it can be a pretty complicated thing, uh, but today I have a program to tell you about called Sculptress. And now it, Sculptress is free, it's easy to use, it's a, um, it's a 3D sculpting program, and it can give you a pretty good foundation into the world of uh, 3D rendering. So, um, I was going to tell you about it today. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is Sculptress. Um, this is pretty much what it looks like when it loads up. It may be a little different if you were to load it. I've been using it a long time, and the settings are saved from one session to another. Uh, anyway, usually it tends to start with this, uh, this ball in the middle, the sphere. And you see this line going down the middle here? That's the uh, line of symmetry. Um, you can turn that on or off. I'm going to leave it on for now. And now, I'm not going to go over every, to, every uh, tool in detail here, but you have these, this set of tools up here, a really simple tool palette that allows you to pick something and then uh, just work on this, this object. It, think of this as like a virtual lump of clay. I can sit here and pull shapes out. I can uh, add to this. And you can see here it looks a little bit rough here because I have this brush enabled. Let's turn that off. I can smooth things back out. And draw some more. Um, I can uh, do you know, all sorts of things. Inflate. I mean, it's really great for uh, just carving out something really quick. And uh, you know that. Uh, put a head type thing on here. I'm just picking a few tools here and going through them. So anyway, um, what this looks like underneath, let's pick one more just to... I've got sort of a turtle look going here. Um, so what, the, what you see, uh, what this looks like underneath is a, uh, a mesh of triangles. These are triangular patches. This is how all models in 3D rendering kind of work. It's it's it, sometimes they're usually they're uh, squares instead of triangles, but the uh, the way this program works is that it uses triangles and it uses something called dynamic tessellation, which means it gets more detail where it needs to, and it's the only uh, 3D application I've ever seen that does that. So if I were to pick draw here and you see how it gets, you know, really detailed, you know, that all these new triangles appeared, and you can you know, adjust this if you know they get too dense you can use a brush to reduce them and it's really great it's it, for just quick modeling you can do an awful lot very quickly I mean I've made professional models with this and it's a free tool and not only can you make models with it but you can also paint them now you can't go backwards with this so once you go into paint mode you're stuck there so now I've gone into paint mode here and I can uh, pick a color Sort of pick a middle of the line brown. I can fill the model so now it's all brown and then pick maybe a lighter color. Okay, and just use the brush and you know, paint details in. Now I'm still in symmetry mode, that's why it's doing stuff on both sides. I can apply a, a brush type, which you know, let's make it a little bit bigger, change the size of the brush, get kind of more of a uh, a detailed uh, texture here. And I can also apply photographic textures. Let's uh, increase the size some. So yeah, I, with this I can build organic models and texture very quickly. I mean, it's a tremendously powerful for a free tool. So you know, I, I recommend it. It's a great way to get started in uh, 3D rendering. I mean, it gives you an idea of some of the fundamental concepts like the underlying mesh, uh, UV maps, which is what I'm making here, a texture, you know, model, uh, various concepts of modeling and thinking in 3D. So uh, if you want to uh, get started in 3D rendering or if you just want to have a great tool for making some organic models, I suggest checking it out. Um, you can get it from uh, the Pixel Logic website. And um, actually, before I show you that, I just wanted to uh, show you this bulldog model here, something I actually made in Sculptress. Uh, it's one of my latest artworks. 
All right, so we're going to go to Pixelogic, P I X O L O G I C dot com. And now they don't make it easy to find because it's free and they really want you to uh, buy ZBrush, which is their, uh, their flagship product. Um, but what you can do is you can go to, uh, let's see. Here, oh, here it is. Sculptress. And then here you have the free download. And you pick your Windows or your Mac OS. So it doesn't cost you a penny to uh, to really get started in this. Now, of course, they, they're they going to push you to upgrade to uh, ZBrush. But um, I, I've, I mean, and I do use ZBrush. But I find that sometimes I only need uh, sculptors to, to do a professional model. So if you uh, like this video and you want more, uh, why don't you try subscribing to my newsletter? You can find it at introvertartist.com slash newsletter. And you can just enter your email here and um, you'll be on my weekly newsletter. I send it out every Wednesday. Uh, it includes articles from my blog, The Introvert, Introvert Artist, uh, more videos like the one you've just been watching, uh, my latest art, discounts, and uh, I also include a free wallpaper every week. So uh, thank you, everybody, and good night.